Hello and welcome to The British Dapper and today we're going to look at five things you must know about wearing men's attire. It's true to say in the modern age uh, a lot more men are wearing jeans and t-shirts and hoodies, trainers, that sort of thing because it's a more relaxed way of living. Um, we live in a modern age um, uh, the dress codes change however there has been recently a little bit of a revival of people wearing suits and jackets uh, and unfortunately those skills of wearing those sort of items are slowly falling by the wayside and so today's video is looking at the five things that you really must know when wearing men's attire to make it successful so the five things we're going to look at today is how the colour of a suit or a jacket and trousers dictates the rest of the outfit. How to coordinate the colours used in your shirt, your tie and your suit or your jacket. How the colour of a shirt influences the image overall. How a tie or a pocket square colour uh, fits in with the image that you want to portray and how the colour of your shoes affect the overall image. Now there's a lot of formal opinion about the way men should wear their clothes and uh, sports jackets, blazers, how they wear their suit, the tie, the shirt um, and there are some sort of myths going around and rules. Now whilst uh, there are some people would say rules about how you wear a suit or a tie or pocket squares I wouldn't get too tied up with that. Um, the thing is, I would look at them more like guides, guidelines. So today we're really going to give you a working man's level of how to wear these items and some quick wins rather than get too technical and bogged down in it and get worried about, well, oh, I can't really wear this suit. I, I don't feel comfortable wearing it. I, I feel out of place. So the idea of this video is to really put your mind at ease, give you some ideas that you can wear and go out and be successful wearing them. So one of the first things we need to look at is colour coordination. And <clears throat> a lot of people get worried about this, how different colours interact with each other in the suit, the tie, the shirt, that sort of thing. So what I would suggest is, obviously I'm not going to cover that today, it's quite a technical issue and can take quite a long while to explain and can be quite confusing. So I would just say Google fashion colour wheels or uh, colour matching and you'll end up with um, um, a series of different uh, sites that will give you colour wheels and colour coordinations and simply uh, you can even buy them from Amazon and other outlets as well. They're not expensive and um, they even give you the rules or the, uh, the how to use them, the instructions. So today we're just going to go through my version of simple colour coordination and hopefully you'll find that very helpful. So when we talk about uh, coordination of a suit or jacket, uh, shirt and tie, then obviously they come in different patterns. So for example, a suit, um, may come in striped, checked or plain patterns. Uh, shirts can be very much the same, striped shirts, plain shirts and uh, checked shirts. And obviously with ties, we're talking about striped ties, patterned ties, plain ties, um, paisley ties. And obviously to coordinate all that together, I've devised a very simple chart here for you which I can make available on PDF um, and it will help you and guide you through uh, all these little problems that you may face coordinating these things together. As you can see from the uh, guide um, I try not to do things all the same for example if I was wearing a striped suit I wouldn't wear a striped shirt and a striped tie um, similarly, for a checked suit, I wouldn't wear a checked 
shirt or a checked tie. With a plain suit, you can get away with wearing a plain shirt and a plain tie. So when we're talking about uh, shirts and the colour of shirts, there's a whole spectrum of different colours shirts. Um, but if you, I had to choose three, then I would choose a blue one, a pink one and a white one. The white is obviously nice and crisp and clean. Uh, a blue one makes you look cooler, it's a cooler colour. And to the other end of the spectrum, a pink shirt because it gives you a warmer feeling or vibe. What I would say is just be a little bit careful when you're selecting some other colours because if they can clash with your complexion, they can actually make you look very red faced or pasty or even jaundiced. Um, so certain colours may not go with your complexion, but generally um, you'd know as soon as you pick it up and look at it. So we come on to ties and pocket squares. So a lot of people get a bit conscious about wearing not only a tie, but also a pocket square. So, and it is maybe one of those things where it's a comfort thing. If you are comfortable wearing a pocket square, then do so. Uh, if not, then don't wear one. You know, it's what makes you feel happy and comfortable. That's the main thing. You may progress to adventuring into uh, wearing these types of things later on. But as for the tie, if you're going to a wedding or an interview or something like that, then you do need to wear a tie. You do need to understand how to tie a tie knot. Um, I'll put a link down below so at the end of this video so you can watch another one of my videos of how to tie a tie knot. Um, and that will help you. Help you. And the other thing about a tie is you have to think about the colour of it. Um, does it clash too much? Some colours can be too vibrant for the particular event you're going to. So for example, if you go into a funeral, you wouldn't wear a really bright pink fluorescent colour uh, tie. It wouldn't really be in keeping. Um, there are a lot of ties out on the market. What I would say is pick one that really suits you. So for example, uh, one of the best suits you could ever get is either a dark charcoal grey or a navy suit. Whether that's striped or checked or plain, but those colours are ideal for interviews, weddings, uh, just about any venue. Um, with a tie, then you can stick to muted colours. So if you're wearing a charcoal suit, I'd wear maybe a black tie. Uh, for a formal occasion and um, if it was a navy suit of some description maybe a navy tie um, maybe with a slight pattern in it or a paisley and uh, you'd be okay with that you'd look good so now we come on to shoes um, now with a formal occasion I always wear a black oxford uh, if it's less formal but I still want to wear a suit or a a smart appearance then I would wear maybe a burgundy uh, brogue shoe or a black brogue shoe, um, monk shoe which has got a little buckle on the side or a pair of loafers it really does depend on the style that I'm looking for or what you know is it a formal or informal event I'm going to so that would dictate the shoes and the color of the shoes and depending on the jacket um, or the suit that also dictates what colour shoes to wear with them. So now we come on to uh, the colour of the shoes against, for example, the colour of the suit or a jacket that you're going to wear. So here's a simple matrix to show you. If you look along the top there, it says suit colour and jacket colour. And there is a range of colours there. And on the left hand side, there's a column going down saying the shoe colour and that shows you all the different colours of shoes and the matrix is quite straightforward but as you can see those that have got red crosses all I'm saying is that I personally wouldn't wear them it doesn't mean to say that you can't it's just that I prefer certain colours 
uh, of shoes to go with certain coloured suits or jackets. So there are certain looks um, that dictate certain colours. So for example, if you're wearing a tweed jacket or a tweed ensemble, if you like, um, I would tend to look at nature because that's where it was derived from. So tweed jackets were made for hunting and shooting, so they replicate uh, the colours in the landscape. So for example, sky, water, uh, forests, field colours, heathers from moorlands, those sort of colours go well together. Now whilst I wear a uh, classic design uh, clothing, for example, uh, tailored look, um, that doesn't mean to say that some of the images that you'll see here uh, won't fit a young man or a modern suit design. So for example, if you wear um, a skinny suit or a slim suit or tailored suit, the colours will still be the same, the principle will still be the same. The look will be slightly different because of the tailoring, but it will still be an effective way of uh, choosing your colours and your palette to work from. So with a dark suit, I tend to, uh, I like a little bit of pop of colour. So in the tie, there's a, you know, we've got uh, a brighter colour. Paisley's really good. Uh, pocket square, uh, complement the tie colours. Um, and that always seems to work well for me. And because it's a dark suit, I tend to wear black shoes. Um, whereas if it's a tan suit or a, a lighter coloured suit or brown or beige, then that would more dictate uh, brown shoes. Now, obviously, buying shoes is um, one thing, but to actually wear them is another. So you really do need to polish your shoes. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll put a video down the bottom. It will show you the basics of how to clean a pair of shoes. Uh, it's a skill that once you've learnt it, you'll never forget it. Um, here's another look. Um, as you can see, it's uh, a velvet type wool material, the jacket. But don't be afraid to wear something under it, like another waistcoat or uh, even a sleeveless jumper or a jumper. If it's in the winter sort of months, then the idea is to keep warm. And just because you're a young man doesn't mean to say that you can't wear these things and still look good wearing them. Here you notice that uh, I'm wearing a grey jacket, which is actually a puppy tooth design. Uh, but with that, I'm wearing darker trousers and a little bit of colour in the tie, burgundy tie and the pocket square with a blue shirt, just to give it that little bit of a cooler colour. Obviously with these, I tend to wear burgundy coloured shoes. And in this case, I was wearing brogues, burgundy brogues. So now we come to the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, drop us a line um, down below. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do that. Um, I'll put some links down below for how to tie a tie and also how to polish your shoes and you know, the PDFs of the, uh, the guides if you'd like them as well. Until next time, take care.